Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tishon here and I'm back with another video. Um, this one is from Teddy B's and this was from the pre-order that was placed. I placed my order September 4th. I received my package on uh, November 13th. It was supposed to have came that Monday, but it came early, which was great because I did leave on the 14th to go out of town. So I was very excited that my package came um, before I left to go on vacation. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I do have some other items, but those items are not mine. I put them to the side because they are a surprise for someone. So I won't mention those, but um, let's go ahead and get started with the things that are mine. So first things first, <clears throat> Tiffany, um, she did, you know, of course we all know she's been doing the tubs, but this time, she decided to add the lids to the tubs, which is great. Um, you know, much easier way to store them. Some people though may not like the lids. So she did include these bags if we wanted to take the lids off and just store them in the bags um, <clears throat> without the lids. So I personally like the lids, so they don't bother me. Um, so I will probably just store them with the lids on and just use these bags for other things. Another thing to take note of is that she has a new business card, which is awesome. I love the aesthetics of this one. It's so simple, um, chic, and just really, um, like the, it's not, I don't want to say it's plain, but it's just very, very chic, very simple. It's not, you know, you see some things that are like over the top, which is nothing wrong with that, but it's just something about this business card and the new design of it is just beautiful. So I love that. You know what? It's really the word I'm looking for. It's it's sophisticated. <laughs> so um, I like this business card a lot. Um, it has, <clears throat> excuse me, her information on the back. I will put her information in the down bar below if anyone is interested in um, checking out um, any, you know, her website, uh, Instagram, um, going to Facebook and joining the Facebook group, which I highly recommend because you do get a lot of updates and details of RTS or um, pre-orders that are coming up. So currently there is an RTS that opened yesterday. There is still a lot of things on the website that she has in stock in the, um, so she has tubs, souffles, and loaves. So there are different blends that are still available. I low key <laughs> did place an order yesterday. And I had my list. I got everything that was on my list. I kept it small. I was traveling home, so I didn't know how my internet was going to act, you know, by being on the road with driving. Um, but I was, you know, able to get everything on my list with no hiccups, no, you know, connection issues or anything like that. I woke up this morning just, you know, perusing to see what was left. And I did order a couple of more things um, to go with the things that I ordered yesterday. So... Those blends that I ordered are blends that I did not order in the pre-order. Um, but I was like, you know what? They're still available, so that's a sign. Let me go ahead and get those. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm very excited for my RTS items that will be coming. And this RTS that's open, that's going on now, is the last um, RTS of the year. After everything sells out, uh, we won't see anything from Teddy B's until the new year, so which will most likely be a pre-order come January. So I'll definitely be looking forward to that because there's some things that was on the RTS that were new that I didn't get, um, and they have since sold out. I did get a couple of the new blends, but um, the other ones that I was interested in at the, you know, of course when you place your order, then you're like, oh, I should have got this, I should have got that as well. Um, when I thought about it, they were already sold out, which is fine. Because they sold out so quickly, they, they will be on the, the pre-order come January. So I'm not worrying about not getting them. I'll be able to get them in the pre-order. So let's go ahead and move on with the rest of the items. I do have a sample here. This is the night before Christmas, and I forgot to look this up. Um, Give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So um, the night before Christmas is... Flannel sheets, warm cashmere, vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. <clears throat> oh, this smells really good. 
it's very warm, cozy. You definitely get the Christmas trees. So you get that woody tree note. Oh, this is really nice. I probably should have got more of this. But it's okay. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. Mmm. And that's what that looks like. It is all right. But watch when I finish filming this. I'm going to go look on the website. I believe this sold out in all forms. I believe. So, <clears throat> I got everything in subs except for one uh, blend. So, I got this in um, a souffle. And this is oak cider and woods. And I had smelled this one um, before I left. Like, I didn't go through everything. So, I just smelled like a couple of the blends. But I did smell this one, and I was like, man, I really should have got this one in a tub because it smells amazing. So this one is warm mold cider, cedar, oak, vanilla, toasted marshmallows, um, pine cones, and smoked woods. Oh, wow. This is so good. It just... Gives you all the fall feels. You get that cider. Mmm. That's so good. You get the, um, the toasted marshmallows. It's a little bit, um, creamy. A little bit smoky from the smoked woods. You get the pine cones. Like that dry, woody note. The cedar and the oak, you're like, I definitely picked that up, like that woodsy, woody. And for some reason, I don't know if it's just me. You know what? Never mind. I just figured it out. <laughs> the cider, I get the cinnamon from the cider. I was like, I'm picking up cinnamon, but what's it? It's the cider. It's still early, so I'm still waking up, guys. And we traveled for hours yesterday to get home, so I'm still kind of exhausted from that oh this smells amazing however i did order this in a tub in the rcs yesterday oh look at that let's see <clears throat> let's see if i can pop this out and no i can't without making a mess so we're not going to do that. I don't want wax everywhere. But this is what this looks like. And you can see the little shimmery sparklies on that one. But this smells so good. So I, I really wish that I would have got a loaf in this. Um, I believe this scent is still available. Um, I was surprised because usually RTS, like everything goes like usually within that day of the RTS, she may be down to like just a couple of things, but she does have a lot of things that are still, like I said, on the website um, that are available. So, um, but I'm not going to go place another order because I already placed one this morning. <laughs> uh, I tell you, it's, it's just so, um, it's so hard to be like, no, I'm not going to get any more that's all i need <laughs> so I'm, i think i'm going to be good and just wait until the pre-order in january because i'm quite sure a lot of these blends will be on the pre-order for january <coughs> excuse me and then i got um one of my favorite scents this is anthony's cabin and this blend was created in memory of dawn um, she's one of the members in the group and her son had passed away so this scent was created in memory of him and I love this blend. Um, I was going to get it in the loaf, but I already still have some in my stash from previous pre-orders. And I believe a, a particular restock. So I was like, you know what? I should be good with my scent. Because I don't melt this all the time because I like to hoard this one. I don't know why. But I just love this one. It's so, um, the meaning behind it is just beautiful. And also the blend itself is really good. And let me read you guys the scent notes. It is birch leaves, citrus peel, Pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. Mm. 
Ah, this smells amazing. It gives you, you know, the vibes of being at the cabin, being with family. It's just warm. It's cozy. Um, you get all of the notes. Like, I definitely pick up on those um, woodsy tree notes, like the birch leaves, the vetiver, the pine cones, that warmth from the sandalwood. I do get a little bit of the citrus, but this is beautiful. It definitely just gives you being at a cabin and just enjoying family, the comfort of like, you know, being with family and just um, that whole, like just, calm, like not like calming in terms of like lavender, but just the whole thing of like, wow, it just feels really good to, you know, be spend this time with family, like that type of vibe. I love this. It's so, so good. And <clears throat> this is what this looks like. And let me see if I can pop this out. Oh, yep. So I can show you the bottom. So that's what that looks like. Very pretty. Oh, it just... Like, I usually melt this scent on, like, a um, super, like, chilly day. Um, like, when it's chilly, you get that brisk, crisp air outside. This is a perfect scent for that. When it's, like, raining, um, this is also another good scent to uh, melt as well. And then also, you know, there are times where we're called upon in the group to give support to Dawn and her family. And we're, you know, we're usually asked to melt Anthony's cabin in support. So I like to do that as well. Um, it's nothing, nothing more than, you know, being there to support one another, uplift one another, and be there for each other, even though we may live in different, you know, parts of the world or the country or what have you, we still can connect through wax. And this is a wonderful, um, testament to that. And then the next one that I got is pumpkin season. And this one is rich cake infused with pumpkin spice, creamy vanilla coffee, oat milk creamer, brown sugar, and Palo Santo. It's so funny because, um, my, one of the supervisor managers at my job one day, she had sent out an email and was like, I put oat milk creamer in the refrigerator guys, if you're interested in it. And I usually use heavy whipping cream in my coffee, but this particular day I forgot. And I was like, oh, I forgot my heavy whipping cream. And then I remember, I was like, oh, she did sent out an email and said it was oat milk creamer. I really like the oat milk creamer. I was like, oh, this is so good. It was so creamy. Um, it didn't have like a watery taste to it or anything like that. It was really nice in coffee. Like I definitely would use that again, um, like, not on a regular basis because I do follow a ketogenic diet when I am following it right now. I've just been carb heavy, but um, when I do follow, you know, 100% keto, I stick to um, very low carbs and I usually do heavy whipping cream. So oat milk creamers would not be considered a keto friendly option, but um, I'm one that I treat myself. So if I'm going to treat myself to something, I'm going to treat myself to something. So that would be like a special treat to have like in a, a coffee drink that I make. Um, cause I do make like, you know, really like different coffee treats for myself. So, but it was really good. So I was excited to see that there's an oat milk, uh, creamer oil in this blend. I say all that to say that. <laughs> um, and right away, you definitely can, like, my, I love coffee, <clears throat> so my nose picks up the coffee first, and it's so good. It's roasty, it's robust, it's not super strong. Um, I've had stronger coffee blends, but this one, this coffee, and this is, oh my gosh, it's so good. Ooh, one second, guys, that's probably my husband. Sorry about that, guys, I'm back. So the coffee in this. It's just really, like, it's a good cup of coffee. You know how some coffee, you it, um, like, for me, I don't really like Starbucks, Starbucks coffee. A lot of people love Starbucks. I feel like their coffee smells burnt to me. That's my, to my nose. Like, it's just burnt coffee. 
Um, so I cannot do their coffee at all. Like I've tried on several occasions and I'm just like, I do not like this coffee. Um, I will say though, one of my favorite coffees to drink at home is Bustelo. It's a Spanish coffee. I love it. Um, I like strong coffee. So Spanish coffees are where it's at for me. Um, I do like espresso as well. So I'm, I lean more towards stronger coffees. This coffee, you can you can smell the coffee, but it's not like um, it's nice. It's not like burnt or anything like that. It's a really nice roasty coffee. Um, this if I was to put this on in the warmer, my daughter would wake up and be like, "Ooh, coffee! Can I have some of that?" Um, because she loves coffee too. So we do we do you know every once in a while, I let her have a little little taste, little taste. Um, I think we've all done it as a kid. My dad used to let me, you know, drink a little bit of his coffee as a kid growing up. And um, she's the same way. Like when she's with my parents, my dad lets her have a little bit of coffee too. So we're, we are a true coffee household. My husband didn't used to drink coffee. He converted, he loves Bustelo and that's the only coffee he really will drink and love and enjoy. He will try coffee out here and there, but not too much. But for me, the coffee is coming through this blend really nice. I love that. Um, you definitely get the pumpkin spice, so you get that spiciness from the pumpkin. It's so good. The sweetness, it's creamy. And then I get like that warmth from the Palo Santo. Slightly woodsy. This is really good. Um, I wish I would have got this in a loaf. But it's okay. I can catch this next time. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. And this is what the bottom looks like. You have some sparklies. And then the top is just plain. But this smells really, really nice. I cannot wait to get this into the warmer. And this pumpkin season was a new blend that Tiffany created for the uh, pre-order that she had. So um, this was a new blend as part of that pre-order. And then we have Tiff's Favorite Lavender plus Crushed Candy Canes. This one also was a new blend as well from the pre-order. So this is Peppermint Sweet Sugar Candy Canes layered with Sweet Lavender Marshmallows and Coconut Milk. Oh, definitely can pick up those candy canes. So the top layer is the peppermint, is the crushed candy canes. Ah, oh, it's like um, you know how you like, you, you, like the dust from the like the crushed up candy canes. That's what that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so good. And then the bottom. So this is what the top looks like. Excuse my fingerprints. I was getting ready to take it out before I realized I didn't show it to you guys. And then let me pop this out. And I, the thing I, that I like about these tubs, you can easily pop these out with no problems at all. So. As I say that, I'm having <laughs> an issue trying to pop this one out. <clears throat> Bear with me. My hands are a little bit slippery. Now, I just popped out the other one with no problem. It made me look like a liar. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually, you can pop these out with no problem. Let me see. Why are you not coming out for me? There is, okay, so I cannot, for some reason, oh, there we go, oh my gosh, phew, okay, and then you have that beautiful lavender on the bottom, oh, so Good, relaxing, cozy. And then you have minty. Mmm, 
a perfect nighttime blend for me. As I'm making a mess. And then this is what the bottom looks like. So this is the lavender on the bottom. And then the crushed candy canes on the top. And this is another one that I should have got a loaf in. I'm getting glitter and wax all over me. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just vacuum when I'm done. <clears throat> so this, like I said, this one was also a new blend from the pre-order. Then the next one we have here is Ocean. And this one was also a new uh, blend. And this is Fresh Air and Crisp Ocean Breezes. Ooh. It's aquatic. It's fresh. It is very crisp. Mmm. This, uh, think being at the beach and you're standing right by that water and like the breeze that's blowing, how the air just feels so fresh and so crisp. This is what I get. Oh, this is so good. And that's what that looks like. Very pretty. So... I really should have got these and loaves, I feel like. But because I have so much wax, I try to stick to the tubs. This one is uh, Toil and Trouble. This one is not a new uh, blend. This is one that's been around from before. This one is Pumpkin Spice Latte, Apple Cider Donuts, and Fluffy Marshmallow. So, one second, guys. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, this one, like I said, is um, <clears throat> pumpkin spice latte, apple cider donuts, and fluffy marshmallows. And the first thing I get is the apple cider donuts. I get that fried note from the donuts. I get the apple cider. Oh, it's so good. And then I pick up on the pumpkin spice latte. I get that spiciness from like the, the spices, a little bit of a coffee note, not too, like the coffee in this one is not as prominent as pumpkin season, but I do pick up a little bit of that and it does have a little bit of creaminess from that, um, the fluffy marshmallows. Oh, this one smells good too. And I had seen this before in blends and I was like, eh, mm, mm, no, I'll get, you know. And I always be like, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to. So this time I decided to get it because I think in the, um, with the pre-order going on, I think a lot of people were raving about this blend. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a go. And I'm so glad that I did. Oh, that smells so good. And this is what the top looks like. And let me show you guys what the bottom looks like. So, so far, I feel like all of these are loaf worthy. <laughs> um, but I just have no room to store loaves. I have room to store these tubs in my one drawer that I have. But, yeah. So, I guess we'll just stick with the, the tubs and, <laughs> until we get this stash to a minimum. This one is God's Woods, and this one was a new blend from the pre-order. And this is, um, I've never watched, um, was it Game of Thrones? So I'm not familiar with that show at all, but I know this is um, in reference to something from Game of Thrones. One of these days I may watch it, but um, like I said, when it, you know, when it was still on and it was really popular... Um, a lot of people talk about this show, love this show, but like I said, I have never watched it before, but, um, so I have no idea what any of these names, like what, what the references are or anything like that. I just know this is, a, in, you know, an ode to Game of Thrones. So this one is Palo Santo, Birchwood, Pine, and Vanilla Balsam.
Ooh. Love this. Very woodsy, earthy. Mmm. If you like tree blends, um, you would love this one. And I can see this one being mixed with other things. Oh, that smells so good. The vanilla balsam. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm getting a little bit of that pine. And the pine to me is not like real astringent pine. It's not super strong. Like some pines are like, whoa, okay. what? Oh, that's a bit too much for me. But this one is not. This is perfect. Oh, wow. And that's what that looks like. And let's see. You have little flecks of glitters there. So that's that one. And then I could see that one being blended with a bakery. A nice bakery blend. I have a bunch of things here so you know I might play around a little bit <clears throat> and see what what happens this is also another Game of Thrones um, reference House of Dragons this one is Palo Santo vanilla balsam falling leaves peppermint and a hint of cinnamon and I know Tiffany says a hint of cinnamon but my nose this is the one that I smelled um, when I got it because I was so excited for this one to me my nose right away picks up the cinnamon like I pick up that cinnamon it doesn't smell like a hint of cinnamon to me um I guess because I like cinnamon I love cinnamon um cinnamon anything is just wonderful so I pick that up the strongest like it's like bam in my face in my nose like I like and I'm not mad at it I love it and then once I get Past the cinnamon, I get a little bit of the peppermint. It's, oh my gosh, this is so good. Like that Palo Santo, the vanilla balsam, the falling leaves, it's like the crunchy leaves. Um, not the wet leaves, it's a difference. Like the wet leaves smell different than the dry leaves that fall. You get like that dry, crunchy, crisp. That's what I'm getting. Someone else may pick up something differently. But to me, I pick up the dry, crunchy leaves that fall on the ground. And her, oh, her Palo Santo is so good. Mm, this is another, I'm just going to keep saying it. Like, with anything that Palo Santo is in, it's just, like, warm, cozy, just inviting and then you have all those other notes that are blended with it. Just overall, this is just a beautiful scent. A, a wonderful nighttime blend. Or a uh, blend to melt when it's like rainy out. Um, there's overcast. It's a little chilly. Um, the wind is blowing. Like those type, these are the type of scents I like to melt when we have weather like that. Because then it just, it's like a whole vibe. You know, you have to, you're sitting on the couch. You got your big chunky blanket. Um, if you have a fireplace, you might have your fireplace going. Or if you don't have a fireplace, you have your heat on. Um, the house is nice and warm and, and cozy. And then, you know, you're either reading a, a good book or you're watching like an old TV, old TV, an old movie. Um, so for me, like my old movies would be like... Uh, Anything uh, with Betty Davis or um, what's her name? Uh, Joan, was it Joan Crawford? Like movies like that. Um, just those type of black and white movies are to me the best movies to watch when it's like raining and you know, you're just icky outside and you don't want to go anywhere. 
it just puts you in a, a whole mood for the day. Um, so these are these are the type of blends that I like to melt during during that type of weather. Ah, oh, smells so good. But that cinnamon, oh my gosh, I can, I was amazed that I was able to pick up the cinnamon first. I was like, oh my gosh, that cinnamon. And I was like, but she said it's a hint of cinnamon. And I'm like, but I'm really picking it up. But not like I said, I guess it's because I love cinnamon. And usually the scents that you love, you tend to pick up on those, the strongest in blends. So, and that's what those look like. That looks like, it's so funny, even though I know it's like little glitters, it looks like little poppy seeds. <laughs> so that was it, guys. <clears throat> I know this one was a little bit long, but, you know, you know how I do. <laughs> sometimes they're a little long, sometimes they're, you know, a little short. Um, so I give a little bit of both. <laughs> some people like the long videos, some people will prefer the shorter ones, but, um... You know, either way, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys um, so much. So thank you so much for sticking with me if you made it to the end. This was it for my pre-order. I'm so excited to start melting these. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to see what the... I'm already thinking like, oh my gosh, what's going to be on the pre-order for January's list? Like in my mind, I'm like, oh, you know, what's going to be on it? We all know Tiffany is going to have some new blends on there. Um, so it's like, oh, what new blends is she going to come up with? What blends is going to make a reappearance, you know, and things like that. So I'm already like excited for that and it's not even here yet. So, um, I will be making a tentative mental list, possibly writing some things down like a, you know, wish list type of thing and see what happens. So that's it guys. I'm going to end the video here. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.